my name is Joe. And I'm Jessica. We are homeschooling natural living entrepreneurs. This is a story of how we balance it all for the freedom to live our lives devoted to our family and faith. Thanks for stopping by, subscribe, and come on in. What's going on everybody? So I'm at the old house today and it is Friday and this is one of the last days that we will actually be here and it's the last day that we will actually be shipping here uh, in this house because we're moving everything uh, to the new business tomorrow and I'm excited about it but also it's a little sad because it's the last day and it sounds so different in here i don't know you know when you go into empty spaces and your voice just echoes that's how it sounds in here uh it's so crazy but i guess i could give you a little tour of the house uh you know <laughs> see this is all business stuff except for that down there uh that stuff and then all the rooms you probably don't even care but here we go anyways that's one of the rooms, you know, it's all cleaned, ready to go. It looks so different when it's empty. Then we got another room here. That's where uh, the kids' room used to be. And then this used to be Jessica and I's room. And uh, it's all empty. It looks so much bigger when uh, there's nothing in there. And then uh, I'll take you out to the garage because you may be, we're talking about business today. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff done already, but we've got a lot of stuff to do because we've got to pack up all of the boxes today. That is, the plan is to get all of the inventory palletized today. And, um, you know, it's the best way to move it. Uh, I think it'll be good. Uh, it's just going to take a little while because uh, we can get the pallets up onto the U-Haul. The trailer is too inclined. So I've got my 12-foot trailer. I rented another U-Haul 12-foot trailer. So hopefully we can get three pallets on each one. Probably only two, uh, but we'll see. We may be able to get three. Uh, and good thing is, is that the business is only about five minutes from this house here. So we won't have to be driving very far down the road. And then all the shelves and then getting everything set up over there somewhat set up so that monday morning when it's time to ship we're ready to go so that's the agenda today is to get all of the stuff on pallets get the last shipment done uh, i think we've got like 20 orders going out today uh, which is good this week has been a good week of sales i mean they're all kind of good week in sales but i know that we were experiencing uh, somewhat of a slowdown after all the stimmies you know people stimulus checks you know they went out and uh, people weren't buying as much. Uh, and I know some some companies in eBay and Shopify specifically, they're expecting and they're communicating to their um, stockholders to expect lower uh, revenue as uh, you know more people are becoming vaccinated, more people are out shopping in public. And at the same time, people don't have as much money to spend. But that's why we've been focusing heavily on buying everyday items, items that people need all the time. So that's been a big sourcing strategy of ours is items that people need to buy every single day and not just those expensive splurge items, just practical items. So Whitney and I have been busy working, getting the garage cleared out, getting all the shelves emptied out. And uh, it looks so crazy in here. Just looks so empty because all the shelves are pretty much empty now. See there, they're all empty. Obviously we got all the stuff up top that we still have to uh, get unloaded, uh, but we've got to get more pallets for it because we have used all the pallets that we have uh, to put all of our inventory on. And it's looking like a liquidation center now. We've got, I don't know, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine we got like nine pallets of stuff so far we'll probably fill up another four pallets so uh that'll be like 13 pallets of stuff just here in the garage and then we've got so much stuff in the storage unit also but it's come along pretty good uh, a lot faster than i was thinking uh, which is good 
Uh, but now we're fixing to go get a bite to eat, go grab a couple more pallets so that we can get the rest of this stuff loaded up. So all we have to do tomorrow is uh, put stuff on the trailers and take it to the new place. Oh, that's Daddy's pallet jack. Mm -hmm, well, leave it there so that we can move the pallets. Thank you for your help, bud. This is the baby gate pallet. I need to get some pallets off of this, some baby gates off of there. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Uh, it is moving day, moving into the big space. And uh, Joe's already hard at work lifting them pallets. We, he had a brilliant idea to just put all of our inventory and all of our stuff back on pallets and repalletize them, which, you know, I could have come up with that idea, but <laughs> he's laughing at me. <laughs> so hold on, let me go help him move this. So, you know, we had to get really creative with putting all of the stuff and making all of our inventory fit back there. That there are some things that I haven't seen in a while. And uh, I found this and I th <laughs> on the, one of the pallets that we just loaded. And uh, hold on, let me show you. Do y'all see this mowing sink here? So, if you guys have been watching us for any length of time, uh, you'll actually recognize that sink because we unboxed that and it was one of those valuable lessons that we had about uh, grading it and checking its condition before you price it because we got that off of an Amazon return pallet and it had a UPC on it so we scanned it. The sink is an industrial sink and it's like worth 16, I think it was like $1,600 and uh, we were so super excited, we were so super stoked, and then we opened the box, and it was nasty. I'm talking, it was like used. It looks like return fraud. I think what happened was that somebody had bought a new sink, and then opened up a return, and sent back their old nasty sink. Um, and we ended up buying bars keep Barkeeper's Friend because some of those scratches are really deep, but I was hoping maybe we could salvage it a little bit. Um, and we haven't had a chance to do that yet. And now that I see the sink, I'm pretty excited uh, about it. And I might try and convince Joe to see if we can try to salvage that sink at least a little bit. We won't be able to get $1,600 out of it, of course, but I just, ah, uh, the memories. <laughs> All right, we just finished uh, load number three. We're getting ready to bring it back to the shop, and let me tell y'all, it's starting to get hot. You wanna say anything? It is getting hot. The kids are getting hungry and cranky. <laughs> so we're gonna <laughs> drop them off and uh, drop this next load off, and we're gonna have to find them some food. You guys getting hungry? Yeah. I want chicken. Oh, we'll have to figure something out, huh? So it's Sunday now, and we are at the office, the shop, I don't know, I think we're calling it the shop, uh, we don't know yet, but we're here to get stuff set up for tomorrow. We got all of the stuff moved yesterday. I think we finished up probably around five or six. I think the last load we did at six o'clock and it is full in here. Uh, it is super full. I'm gonna turn around. You got Jessica's over there. There she goes. And as you can see, I mean, it's it's full. There's so many pallets of stuff. And uh, I think there's 10 pallets of inventory, which this is how the inventory looked up, getting uh, boxed up on the pallets. And then we've got more pallets of bigger stuff. Like this is all bigger stuff that was in inventory, that it's all boxed up. We got pallets of stuff that has not even been listed yet. Uh, like this one here. This is a pallet of uh, Amazon coffin boxes that we have not even messed with yet. Uh, these haven't even been unboxed to go through. 
more stuff this is stuff that's been listed a, a pallet of stuff that has not been listed so there's a lot of a lot of stuff we got a lot to get done and uh we got to get done before tomorrow so that way when we ship tomorrow it's gonna be easy because we've sold i don't know close to 50 items now uh at this point on sunday i think it's like four o'clock on sunday and then we got to do a couple things at the house the house is almost done it's like 99 percent done 98 percent we gotta get a refrigerator a couple other things um but that's what we're doing today well we got a lot done and uh a whole lot done got all these pallets here all that space is cleared out i know it's dark back there so you can't really tell uh so you'll just have to wait till the next video to get the full kind of uh sneak peek not really a sneak peek i guess unveiling uh with it not so cluttered because uh, this is where i'm going to leave you guys today uh, it's sunday it's like six o'clock we've got to go to the house the old house get our extra refrigerator a couple of boxes and then take the kids home that stuff home and get them fed bathed uh and get ready for school week tomorrow uh because jess and the kids they have co-op tomorrow uh so we've got lots to do uh and not a lot of time but i appreciate you guys as always uh until next time I can't even do my fingers as a full piece.